The use of Owen Sound as a commercial port began in 1842 when storekeeper W.C. Boyd purchased a schooner to transport his family and supplies from Toronto. To cope with the annoyance of a sandbar that blocked the mouth of the inner harbour, Boyd built a dock beyond it. Soon a whole fleet of small ships was using Boyd's Wharf. In 1883, the CPR chose Owen Sound as the home port for its Great Lakes fleet. The Athabasca, the Alberta and the Assiniboia were built in Scotland and sailed to Canada where they had to be cut in half to make it through the canal system. Steelworkers later rejoined them at a shipyard in Buffalo. Each ship carried freight and passengers to and from Owen Sound and the lakehead on Lake Superior. The first of the company's two grain elevators was built in Owen Sound the same year, securing the growing port's future. In 1885, 46 people died in the wreck of the Algoma on Lake Superior. To replace her, Polson Shipyards of Toronto established an Owen Sound shipyard and built the Manitoba, which was launched in 1889. A memorial to the first steel ship ever built on the lakes is on the northeast side of the inner harbor near the twin cement silos. By the end of the 1800s, Owen Sound was the busiest port in Canada. Each week during the navigational season, the three CPR steamers sailed from the port to Sault Ste. Marie and the lakehead. Four liners of the Northern Navigation Company from Collingwood and two from the Algoma Central Railway called at Owen Sound regularly. And the Dominion Transportation Company's steamers served Manitoulin Island and many unscheduled vessels called in the port as well, creating healthy commercial progress.